Hey, how's it going everybody? Got a uh, new bag just in. Uh, this is a sponsored um, stream. Uh, guys from Starframe reached out to me. That's a you know brand new bag company. They've got a uh, bag they've designed called The Brick and shipped one over. Uh, they were nice enough to send me one to check out, so I'm pretty psyched to unbox this thing and uh, and and see what we've got. It looks like uh, it looks like it's going to be a fun one. I will I'll send you right over to my right uh, to my monitor here, so we can just look really quick. There are two different places that uh, you'll be able to get this bag. You can go right to the Starframe website as I, I have here, and this is the bag we're looking at, $94.95. You can see it says coming soon there. They're, I believe they're waiting for their shipment to ar arrive so they can actually send these out. They are available also on Amazon right now. You're welcome to go search for them there. Um, you know, by the time you're watching this, I I'd totally recommend looking at their website first and seeing if you can order it direct. It always helps people out more when you order direct from them rather than rather than on Amazon. So I'd go Amazon second if if you're looking. But this is this is the guy right here. Oh no, we needed. Oh hey, Noam, how's it going? I'm not gonna pull everything up on their website. We'll just <clears throat> we'll just cut right into it and see. This looks like a super unique design with like a full full cooler across the bottom. Full screen, you got it. I think there's three different panels in here that we gotta put in the bag. How's it going, Upper Cat? Hey, C up coming in with the with the five bucks. Thanks, man. What's your favorite bag slash cart setup? Um, the. Octo Hall is pretty easy to say is my favorite bag, and I've only got one cart that I can use with it, and that's the uh, the Rovic RV1D. It's a it's a pretty sweet combo to have the the pound pound bag on the Rovic. Upper Upper Cat just joined the channel. Thanks, Upper. Oh yeah, there you go. You got yourself some uh, some a little Lola badge going on. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Where's our uh, panels at? They must be inside here. Not too much, Caleb. Yeah, I got off. Uh, this bag was supposed to be in yesterday, but I had a little trouble getting it, and uh, and then ended up getting off work early today. So here we are, checking it out. So their little card they've got in here says their uh, links gives a link or instructions to get to the assembly instructions. I've actually already watched that. It's not uh, a couple tricks I think that make sense, but it's not a difficult. Uh, you got two pieces of little foam that that go in the sides here and help with insulation a little bit. Really the one thing you're looking for on all these pieces is, is whether there's a rounded corner and then you do know that that goes in a specific way. And then we got three hard, harder ones. And again, a little bit more rounded corners. Those rounded corners always face down. I think they probably did that so that the, there weren't sharp corners like trying to poke through. 
and then the two little bit stiffer panels for the side and and again the round, rounded corners on those the rounded corners go down and towards the front you look like someone who likes to put people in headlocks uh tub boy i think you got me uh you got me penned wrong there i never put anybody in a headlock that i can remember but <laughs> no i do take that like a compliment thanks we'll put the back one in first there's just a uh zipper zipper right across here it's not gonna fit straight in I'm pretty sure I gotta kind of bow it without putting too much stress on the zipper oh that might actually be why they rounded those corners on the bottom that helps you get it in a little easier maybe STLE I don't know if it'll make you cooler man I have to test this out a little bit I'll report back to you <clears throat> no I think you're remembering that incorrectly I mean that might have happened in one of your dreams or something but side pocket rounded corner down and pointing forwards <laughs> oh man, and don't be leaking my, don't be leaking the only fans here. doing some uh, a long emergency day gnome that's leaky roof that's rough so what I just figured out binding a little bit on that is like halfway down the wall inside there you can see that little reflection maybe change right here that's actually velcro and when I'm pushing that sleeve in I'm hitting hitting on that velcro a little bit so I just had to figure out how to get that pass, but. You think you're still gonna stream when you get home, Gnome, or is that just gonna be too late of a day, probably? Okay. So I just decided I had my last round with the uh, DD paratrooper. I might depend on I, not. I don't intend this to be a very long stream, um, and. Probably as soon as I get off, I'll record the review for the paratrooper. This is a, it's a disc golf bag, Gnome. A little bit unique design. This whole bottom section is kind of set up to be a cooler. Uh, reportedly, it can carry like 24 12 ounce cans and ice and then fold the top section down and that's where all the discs go. So it's kind of set up for like a party bag. Dylan, how's it going, man? Cole, that's great to hear. I really like the Ridge Bag. I'm psyched to see them uh, put out uh, just on their, what's it called, Ridge Roll Roller Cartel Facebook group. They showed some, some mock-ups of some new potential, like, two-tone color patterns for the Ridge Bag, and they look they look great.
Patrick, how's it going? A little bit of an ASMR effect. Thanks, man. I've been uh, working to get some some pretty decent audio, so I I know some people just watch on their phones or you know even just put it on in the, when they're in their car or something. Not everybody watches that close, but I think it's pretty important to have to have good audio. So I think the first thing we better do is oh. I was gonna load it up. I really should just weigh this thing though while it's empty. I know that's that's boring. It's more fun to see how many cans we can fit in there, but let me just bust out the scale and weigh it real quick. Yeah, Gnome listens to most most of my videos. Gnome doesn't play disc golf though. He's just or upper for that matter. Those guys both both know me from uh, Gnome Gnome Acid's Twitch stream. One point three four kilograms. That's light. forget that if I don't write it down. One point three four kilos. Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. You know I got cans ready. We'll use our uh, we'll use our LaCroix here. So I had to say like one of the first things that crossed my mind when I looked at this bag was if you were to put a ton of weight down in the bottom here, then when you pick the bag up or carry it on your shoulders, there's gonna be a lot of stress put on this zipper. And you know, that's something we'll just have to see. Of course, the zipper doesn't go all the way around, so a lot of that a lot of that weight will get transferred just through the through the back panel, but nonetheless, some of it'll be through the through the front. Robba John, did you just change your uh, did you change your YouTube name? Jam a hole thirty in there. We could definitely fit thirty. There's twelve across the bottom. Hey Mick, how's it going man? Thanks for popping by. Brandon's in here. Is that a can size holder on the side or? That's a can, that's too small for an Algene. Even, uh, even a koozie I think could be tight in there. It, yeah, with a koozie, koozie fits, but that's it's snug with the 12 ouncer and a, and a koozie there. Got to have room for ice. Yeah, this isn't Gnome's first rodeo. We put the second. I got another 12 pack right here. I got your handle right. All right, Robin John. You are no, you are no longer Robert. I feel like there is room for plenty of ice, even with a uh, 24 in here.
Yeah, you got good eyes, Brandon. It is. It is a little small. Okay, there we done it. We got the we got 24 in there. It's gonna be super super hydrated on the course, you know. So we've got even with that, you know, we could open that all the way up to to reach in. Oops, those zippers are sticking to reach in and grab something out, but you've also got a lower trap door. A little, sne little sneakier access. A lower front pocket here. So I've got, I unloaded my bag and put everything there. So we're gonna fully load this up. I'll do wallet there. I'd probably put keys there too. I'll stick my phone in there for now. And then we got the one beverage holder on this side. That looks too small for a disc. Oh, nope. That, that's a, a destroyer. Driver just barely fits in there. No, yeah, that's one of the thoughts I had too. I started thinking like, um, I've actually got a bunch of little bags. Like you could, you know, use some of that as cooler space, but then set like another bag next to it. And... I could put my camera equipment in there, or some, something like that. I think uh, mid or putter is going to be a little tight over here. Yeah, there's a bobcat. That's small diameter mid, and it, it doesn't want to go in. So let's do... How many discs do I have here? Uh, three, six, here's nine drivers. And uh, six, six mids, throwing putters. So there's 15. And I guess I need my these are like my actual putting putters. 16, 17, so that's 18 discs is what I was carrying, which actually, funny enough, is like the perfect amount for this bag. So you don't have a dedicated putter pocket on here. I mean, this isn't, you could, you could kind, no, you can't. That's not a putter. That's not a putter pocket. Food on top and drinks on bottom. Yeah, Mick. You got yourself a uh, little hiking bag there. Go out for a picnic or something. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Maybe even take it on the car, road trip? Yeah. Hoodies? Yeah, it could fit all kinds of stuff. Use the DG Cooler insert. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got other coolers of that size, Robert John. Just some little coolers I bought. Uh, book cheats. Uh, my rating is at about, I think it's all time low. I'm a, like 920 something, I believe. Uh, PDGA 36778, if you want to look it up. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice date bag. That could be. Yeah, I'm actually really liking the idea of using some space inside there for other stuff. Because I still have, like, you know, the other things I normally carry. Hand sanitizer. I've been carrying that uh, rangefinder a little bit more. Uh, towel. Like, it's the time of year. Now I'm carrying a jacket because the weather can just change so fast. Let me go grab. Let me go grab a little bag and we'll jam it in there.
something like one of these is what I was picturing. This is just like a super cheap, tiny cooler. This one's a little bit bigger. So even with that totally, I just zip, zip that closed and then I don't have to worry about my discs spilling out. Of course, as soon as I relieve a bunch of this weight, it'll probably want to kind of roll backwards. So I feel like this is kind of a, this is almost like a little bit of a blank slate sort of with two huge compartments that are just kind of empty. You could load it up all sorts of different ways. Thanks book cheats, I appreciate that. So let's say maybe all we actually want to bring out is a six pack. So then we could just take a small six pack cooler like this and drop it in there. Whoops, I had an extra can. It's not gonna fit the way that I want it to fit. And then next to that, I can drop in all this other stuff. Maybe put my jacket on top. Are those updated skinny twos on the back wall? Um, yes, one of them. One of them is updated. I tend to do a video on that before too long, Robin John, showing off the th showing off the changes to the skinny two. Mick, yeah, there's a hard plastic piece on the l back of the lower section, not the upper. Is the bottom of the bag leak resistant? Um, a bit. I yeah. I don't think I'd call it. I don't think I'd call it waterproof. Just from like my initial little look at it. So with the way I've loaded it up there, I actually don't have like the first time I had cans on cans, so that was like helping support the top section. And now we're using the stiff panels in the sidewall and the back to to hold that up. Because like my jacket that I have jammed in there isn't isn't doing a whole lot but through that window I now have my rangefinder down here hand sanitizer all kinds of my little you know towel um, sunblock and everything and I can reach straight into that little six-pack cooler that I've got and jam my jam my jacket on top still reach in and grab a can so there's, I don't know, that's um, that's going to be fun to play with. There's so many different ways that could be set up, putting little bags and stuff in there. I think that's going to be where the cell phone, where the cell phone lives. Hey, Tori, how's it going? I've still got my ridge. Um, you, yeah, you can actually see it. It's right there. I love that bag. It's going to be a tough one to part with. It might be easier once they come out with the, the next version of it. I really like the look of some of the two-tone ideas they're tossing around for the ridge, so I'm, I may have to get into one of those.
Uh, let's see, what else have I not looked at? On the bottom, the bottom is soft. I mean, it's got padding in it, but the uh, four plastic feet on there actually looks like some pretty, some pretty nice padding on the back. A little bit thicker padding across the bottom and these two angled pieces on the side. Backpack straps are medium to light padding. They've got a bottle bottle opener uh, sewn into the backpack strap, sternum buckle, and a uh, big rubberized blocky chunk on the uh, on the hall loop there, and a little D ring if you want to hang a towel or something else off of it. Awesome, Tori. Yeah, I I love the Ridge. I can't say enough nice things about that about the Ridge bag. It's it's really it's really a great one. So probably this flap is gonna live tucked in, something like that. So it'll be interesting to see how the how this thing stands up. with different amounts of weight in the bottom. I think if you went like super lightweight in the bottom, then you might have more trouble with it trying to tip. But honestly, if you weren't putting a bunch of heavy stuff in the bottom, I wonder if you would just switch and put your discs down there and then use the top for other storage. Like that's not gonna be big enough to pull your discs out of. So you'd have to leave the top like uh hinged open. I wonder how that would work. So if you, yeah, if you reverse this, you could have the top zip closed with whatever light, light valuable stuff you have in there, and then just have your full discs there. And then you could just pivot the top back to grab your discs. I'll have to try that too. There's going to be a bunch of different ways to set this up. Book cheats, that's kind of a long answer, so I generally just give the short one and say my favorite bag is the Pound Octo Hall. But it's not the perfect bag for every situation and every person, so I feel like I'd rather answer that question based on, you know, what your criteria are, what your needs are for a bag, and then I may have a different answer for what I think would be best for you. And the reality is that when I go out, I'm playing different sorts around in different weather, some are tournament rounds where I want backup of every disc and you know cert certain bags I will use in in those situations and I think they're better for it. Jonathan switch from a lat 64 luxury E4 and the ridge definitely feels lighter on the back although it's slightly heavier. Yeah the I have not checked out the E4 the E the E3 was not my favorite uh, lat 64. It felt like super blocky and heavy, and that's one of kind of the magical things about the Ridge is that it is heavy. Like you've got a metal frame in there that can hold a huge amount of weight with a built-in seat, but the way the bag is designed, it doesn't carry like that heavy of a heavy of a bag. So I think that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um, I think we're gonna just wrap up here, guys. I'm gonna have to play with this thing. Load it up and check it out. See how it goes. Thanks, Start Frame, for sending it over. Um, it's uh, it's a unique it's a unique one for sure. That's gonna be fun to play with. I'm looking looking forward to it. Oh, I got a uh, I just got a Grip BX bag. Um, somebody local was looking to get rid of it, and I traded him one of my other bags for it. That's one that I have got quite a few requests for. It's the only grip bag I've not reviewed. So that one's gonna be in the lineup here before too long too. We'll get another grip re review out there. I've been looking at the Skinny 2 for a lighter bag than my Red Feather. You have to thrash the trash the Red Feather first though. It's holding up well. Nice, that's good to hear. I assumed the Red Feather was a pretty light bag, so I'm not the, sure the Skinny 2 is going to save you weight. I might be wrong about how heavy the Red Feather is, though. 
I mean, the Skinny 2 is light, and it feels even lighter just because of how like tiny its, its profile is. All right, guys, I'm going to click out. Thanks, everybody, for hopping in. I know this was a super fast one, but I have enough energy that I am... I'm ready to just film a review, so I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna end the stream right now, and uh, and, and get to starting my review for the um, DD paratrooper bag. So look for that soon. If all if all goes well, I'll release that review tomorrow. If if I get it all all figured out. It feels heavy and a bit bulky. I don't have a scale that goes over one kilo though. Oh, yep, that makes it tough. Kiz nasty. Hey, thanks for thanks for hopping in. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.